Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermance, in my farm tutorial series. And we are in Minecraft 1.13. This is the update aquatic. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a scoot farm. Now, scoots are the bits that you get left over after turtle shells have hatched. You get these scoots and you can use them in potions and things like that. And they're actually quite useful. You don't need a gazillion of them, but to have some is quite useful. And to have an automatic farm that collects them for you is definitely very useful. So that is what we are all about today. We are going to use these fellas here, which go swimming around in the water and also sit on the sand. Look, they're swimming off there. Look, they'll come back. Don't you worry. We're going to use these fellas here to create a scoop farm, which is basically like a, a turtle eggshell farm, for want of a better word. If you want to call it something like that, that'll do, won't it? So what we're going to do is we are going to do that and we're going to protect it from mobs because mobs don't like these, particularly these shells. They jump up and down on them until their feet are sore and they crack. It's really weird to watch. And if you watch my earlier uh, 113 What's Going On video, which I did, what, about a month and a half ago, you'll see that they just jump up and down on them. It's the funniest thing ever. But today we're going to make a farm that is going to collect the eggshells. So let's crack on. So what you need for this build actually isn't that much. You need a load of seagrass. I, I don't know how much. You depends how quickly you can get your turtles to breed. A silk touch pickaxe. Doesn't have to be diamond. Iron is perfectly fine. Four ladders. Four blocks of redstone. They could be redstone torches, but I find that blocks of redstone are better. 14 powered rails. 14 normal rails. 36 oak logs. 22 oak planks, 27 spruce stairs, 36 oak stairs, two chests, two hoppers, one minecart with hopper, 36 blocks of sand, 48 blocks of glass, and eight bits of glowstone. That is it. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is find some turtles. Now I got this idea um, from Wattles, who's a really great YouTuber, uh, knocking on the door at 10,000 subs. I like his stuff very, very much. So Wattles, thanks for the idea of this. It's really, really great. Don't run away, turtles. You don't want to do that. Look, look, I've got this. I've got seagrass. You know you want some. It's something that's very yummy. So Wattles' um, videos are in the description below. Link to his videos. Nice one. Go and have a look and tell him I said hello. Right, so breed up your turtles. And once they bred up, one of them is going to dig around in the dirt. Hang on, pick up the Excel, uh, experience that you get. They're going to dig in the dirt until such time as they get an egg. And the egg's going to be somewhere underneath them, I reckon. Where's that egg gone? Go on, get yourself breeding. Get yourself breeding. You know you want to. Sometimes these fellas take a little bit of time to actually get that egg going. But it will be here soon. <laughs> So the first time it actually failed, which is a little bit disappointing, but I've had another couple of goes and we've had two more cracks and we've got two eggs. You need at least two eggs for this farm. So I've just got two eggs here and I've also got a silk touch pickaxe. You'll notice that I'm in survival now. And if you hit this with a silk touch pickaxe, you pick up the egg. Hit that with a silk touch pickaxe, you pick up the egg. Oh, look, I've got three eggs. Why not? Silk touch pickaxe, you pick up the egg. I might get another bre bread egg, so as I've got four. And now you've got everything you need for this particular farm because these turtles will only breed on their home beach. So you've got to fool those eggs that you've got in your pocket that this is a home beach. Let's crack on. Pardon the pun with the word crack. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dig ourselves a hole that is six by six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six two, three, four, five, and six. And we're just gonna dig this out completely like this, all done, and one more like that. Doesn't have to be done on sand, just out of interest. I just happen to be on the beach because it's nice weather in it. So I'm doing this on the sand. And then what we need to do is you need to come to one part of it and dig out one, two, just like that, one and two. And then dig this out, one and two, and dig this out, one. Just like that, dead, dead, dead easy. Then get yourself a chest in there, and a chest in there, and a hopper pointing into that chest, and pointing it up, pointing into that chest. Let's see, I'm just gonna clear this out so as I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. So that is the first part. Then we're gonna get ourselves a few rails, and what we're gonna do first is get ourselves some redstone blocks. Now, we don't have to use redstone blocks, Normal um, redstone torches will work absolutely fine, but I'm gonna use redstone blocks simply because it's a nice block upon which these things can sit. And I'm gonna get a redstone line on this side. I'm gonna run it there, and I'm gonna run it 
there. Then I'm going to get a rail, normal rail, I'm going to hook it round like that. And I'm going to get another redstone line, I'm going to run it there, I'm going to run it there. I'm going to get a normal rail go there, there. I'm going to shift click onto the hopper, shift click onto the other hopper, there, there and there. So you can see we're curling around, so that one actually I'm going to make a powered rail, sorry, there and there. Right, so on this one you're going to get a normal rail and another normal rail, powered rail, powered rail, normal rail, normal rail, round like that, powered rail, powered rail, ah, normal rail, normal rail, power drill, power drill, except don't do that, and you have to come up, sorry about that, whoops, then we get a power drill there, normal rail, normal rail, power drill, and power drill, so you have to do it in that order, if you don't do it in the order, they get all interconnected and really, really confused, and you really don't want that, so what we're going to do now is we are going to get the minecart with hopper running around on this track, but before we do that, we're going to put some sand on top of it and because this takes up this whole block the sand doesn't fall it looks kind of weird i know it looks like the sand's just floating around in there but it's not it is very happy isn't remotely bothered that it is sat on well basically nothing right but it will work then we get our minecart with hopper we put it there and we give it a little push that minecart with hopper will then just run and run and run and run around and around and around. Can you see that all the way along? Just then fill up the rest of this with sand and you are away. You can access it perfectly well from here. You've got no problems accessing it. And if you wish to block it off, you can maybe get a set of steps. Where's the steps? Get a set of steps, any steps, that'll do. And get a set of steps, have them upside down on there and there. That blocks that off, but you can still access that chest without any bother. It's a little bit dark, and if you don't like the dark, get rid of those two blocks there as well. Happy days. So that's quite simple, that part. And that's all we need. The next bit, we need to build up the body of the farm. We're going to go one, two, three, and four. And the reason we're going to go four is because we want a three high clearance above this level of sand. And then we're going to come along here, one, two, three, and four. Same in this corner, one, two, three, and four. And same in this corner, one, two, three, and four. There we go. So we've got quite a nice um, frame that we're going to be dead happy with. Then we're going to get some oak stairs. I like oak stairs personally, it just works quite well. And we're going to go along there with oak stairs. Now you can use oak wood here, and I'll show you what it looks like with oak wood. There we go. You can use oak wood here if you wish to go there, 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 there. You know what? I'm going to use oak wood. I've just decided on the spec I'm going to use oak wood because I think it will look better once we've got the finish. So oak wood all the way around this here. Get rid of these steps. We want these to be oak wood. Come around there, 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 there. Oak wood in a uh, six. And then we're going to put around that some steps. So there and edge that off. I've only edged that off because that's our access point. Come all the way around with some oak steps like this. Keep going right to the end. There and there. And the next bit is dead easy. You want some glass. So get yourself some glass, just some solid glass like this, and fill up these edges like that. And you want to fill these up another level. <coughs> like that, dead simple right, and then get your oak log, come along, leave the middle two open, come along, come along, leave the middle two open, come along, and repeat, and repeat, like that, there you go, boom and boom, and then in these middle two spots, you want to get yourself a little bit of light, because the last thing you want right now is for any mobs to be spawning anywhere around here, this needs to be plenty light and I mean plenty light if you haven't got plenty light it ain't gonna work this here this light is enough to give you what you need and then you need to get your turtle legs and plant your turtle legs in there one there one there I've got four so I might as well just do four right and one there and then you've just got to wait and once you've waited 
those turtle eggs will hatch. And because they're hatching on this piece of sand, they will think this piece of sand is their home beach. Dead simple. That's the whole point of this section. So you've got your four turtles there. You can see them. They're very happy to see you because you've got seagrass in your hand. Yeah, just go under the water. There's absolutely loads of seagrass. Go and harvest yourself some seagrass and feed it to the turtles. And when they get a little bit jiggy, they'll start to make their own little eggs as well. Look, there's two of them. So I've bred four and two of them, I assume the female, are kicking around that sand like it's going out of fashion. Don't forget, you've got a little bit of XP there. It's going out of fashion. So they'll carry on doing that until such time as they lay some eggs. And you can sit and watch them as much as you like. So while we're waiting for these turtles to hatch, we're gonna do the next bit of the farm. Because they take a little while to hatch, they can take up to 40 minutes to hatch these eggs. But they've laid absolutely loads of eggs in there, but it can take 40 minutes on average or even longer for these things to hatch, it's a nightmare. Get yourself two ladders and get climb up those ladders, come the other side, get yourself another two ladders. You'll notice that I, oh, what happened there? Oh, it's starting to hatch, do you see that? Do you see that little kind of thing? That means it's thinking about hatching soon. I do, this takes so, take, take forever, but that's why you need it to be automatic to catch the scoots when the baby turtles grow up. So what we've got is we've changed that glass block for a wooden block so I can put a ladder on it and I can jump and climb up. And then what you're going to do, where are we? We're going to get spruce stairs. I like spruce stairs, they're quite nice. And we're going to come around the spruce stairs like this. And what that means is spiders can't get inside. Now the chance of the spiders trying to get inside here are pretty low, but I want to make sure I protect myself from spiders coming inside, and obviously you want to make yourself a gap there. Inside is no problem, the light is perfectly fine. Outside, you've got all of that area like that. This is too light for the mobs to spawn on, so you aren't gonna get any mob problems, which is brilliant, right? That's what we're looking for, no mob problems. So now we just have to wait for these blooming eggs to hatch, because they do take a while, but they do lay a few. And once you've got the scoots, it's worth it. Right, it is about 40 minutes-ish later, uh, maybe a little bit longer, and we've got a number of turtles in there that have now grown up. I've waited for the babies to grow. Some of the eggs never hatched. Now, I don't know why that is, and maybe they're just really slow developers. We've got a few eggs that just didn't hatch, which is really interesting. I wonder if any of you have had that same experience of eggs not hatching. So, look, one of them looks like it's about to hatch because it's got all the cracks on it, look. But these two literally done nothing. I reckon they're poached eggs, those ones. But we've got a lot of turtles. And what we can do is we can feed up these turtles and get them laying a load more eggs like this. And those eggs will just keep coming get in there and give, give them a good old loving. There we go, turtles, you know you like it. And then you can just get out by jumping up the ladder. And the fact that ladder is one spot above the ground means that mobs can't climb up it and get into your turtles. But more importantly, what have we got? Let's get rid of that grass, otherwise they'll keep looking at me. What have we got in here? I've had, I don't know, the, the original four turtles and maybe about another 10 grow up. So let's look, maybe a few less inside here right so we've got 12 scoots so these are scoots you can see and you can turn those into various potions etc look they're still going on it they're having a right old dig there and um, but where are they yeah uh, right old dig they're carrying on and they'll keep breeding and laying loads more eggs and hopefully they won't be poached eggs but that is how you get a load of scoot and there you have it one turtle scoot farm remember the scoots aren't collected when the baby turtles hatch the scoots are collected when the baby turtles grow up into big boy and girl turtles because what happens is they get rid of their little shell i suppose and that's sort of part of that little shell that is collected and is called the scoot you can google it that's what scoot is it's part of the the keratinaceous shell of a turtle little fun fact for but they're still digging away in the background now that's hilarious laying loads more they're going to dig their way out it's like escape to victory anyway if you've enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you enjoyed it and i'll look forward to seeing the likes down there also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe and notifications bell you know you want to it'd be great to see you in my sub club 
and my notification squad. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.